surface. Lawrence County looks like many other counties in Indiana. Historical buildings, a bank, a Masonic lodge, courthouse, and businesses on the square. But it has many unusual and extraordinary facts you might not know. Here are 10 of them. In its history, Lawrence County has had six courthouses. This is not the first one. At the original county seat of Palestine, there were two courthouses a log cabin courthouse built in 1818. Then, a grand brick structure in 1821. When the town moved to Bedford, it was sold to Moses Fell and took away brick by brick. Once the town moved to Bedford, a log cabin was built in 1825. Then, a small but better frame building in 1834. And finally, a grand limestone structure was completed in 1872. After it caught on fire, the sixth and present courthouse was built in 1930. The Lawrence County Courthouse statue actually has a name. Miss Indiana, but more amazingly, it was created in the image of a local lady. Mamie Hubbard lived on 17th Street and walked by sculptor Harry Easton's studio every day. It was on her way to work at the Imperial Stone Company. He asked her if she would model for the statue. She agreed and the rest is history. For decades, she later lived with her husband on 13th Street. I can only imagine what it felt like to drive past the courthouse and see yourself on a pedestal. You may have never noticed this, but no building in Lawrence County has ever been more than 74 feet tall. Currently, the tallest building in Bedford is the former Regions Bank building, built in 1927. It's 60 feet tall. The Greystone Hotel, that was once on the square just east of the Masonic Temple, was 74 feet. It was demolished in 1994. The town of Olytic is named after ancient fossils. Specifically, fossils called oocytes. These tiny prehistoric animals make up limestone. And speaking of limestone, Olytic has the only town hall in America with a limestone statue of a comic book hero. While not familiar to many today, Joe Palooka was very popular in the 1940s. When the statue was unveiled at Bedford, practically the entire town came to see it. It was a big deal. And today, it's still fun to get your picture taken next to Joe. A huge claim to fame for both Olytic and Lawrence County is the Empire Quarry. 
in this deep hole in the ground, 18,360 tons of limestone were quarried and sent to New York to build the Empire State Building. At one time, it was the tallest building in the world, and so large, it almost doesn't seem possible that Indiana even had that much limestone. Back in 1980, Lawrence County once had plans to build a limestone pyramid and replica of the Great Wall of China as a tourist attraction, a theme park. The pyramid was to be 95 feet tall and the Great Wall a whopping 650 feet. Federal funds were allocated and work actually started. However, in 1981, the project was cut. While we'll never know what kind of tourist dollars that would have generated, the large pyramid base and other structures that were started are still there. In fact, they are even visible from satellite. And here's a fun fact. Two twins, born in Lawrence County, were once featured in Ripley's Believe It or Not. As the story goes, Roy Dale Turpin was born February 8th, 1930, at his parents' home on Pleasant Run, Bartlettsville Road, east of downtown Bedford, Indiana. The next day, 19 hours later, his mother went to Dunn Memorial Hospital and gave birth to his twin, Billy Turpin, making it the only known time in history that twins were born in different townships and different days. While most people know that Lawrence County sits upon a large layer of limestone, they may not know that the entire town of Bedford is above one giant cave system, and it functions as a sewer. In fact, there's a cave entrance in one man's yard. And speaking of caves, Blue Spring Caverns Park, southwest of Bedford, Indiana, contains the longest navigable underground river in the entire United States. You can take a boat about three miles into the darkness. And as a bonus fact, Blue Spring Cavern is but one of 1,200 known caves in Lawrence County. Were you surprised by any of these unusual Lawrence County facts? Did I miss any? Be sure to leave them in the comments.